Hey guys, and welcome back to Welcome to Not Included, Clay's Amazing Space Comedy Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Switchy, and we are back on the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids way out in the wilds of space. And we're trying our best to make sure our duplicates can survive as comfortably as possible. Last time we came over to, Bl to Blagolia, we got a whole bunch of stuff sorted, including the ability to send the uh, metals that we are producing on this place off to other areas, other asteroids. Unfortunately, we ran out of of natural gas as we were doing so. So in an aim to get more power and also to make our cobalt volcano just a little bit more stable, which had to emergency power shut down yes, uh, last time when our power ran out and we couldn't cool it down, I'm going to try and make this area into a steam room. We need to get ourselves one of these, the steam turbines. Unfortunately, I'm un currently unable to build this I do not have any plastic here. If we come over to the search and go uh, plastic, uh, you can see zero, zero out of zero. We have none available to us. And let's just quickly check, check the mini pod and see if we've got no... Um no plastic being made there, but we have an awful lot of plastic being made over at Pyaxlin. This is the place where we've been making a lot of petroleum recently. We do have some problems with heat still. Hopefully these are problems that we can solve at some date when we manage to uh, actually pump this area clear. I thought we had enough crude oil to actually turn this hydro sensor off. I might just go ahead and do that now so that bef uh, so that we can pump all of these gases out before we actually uh, release some more. All the gases, of course, flowing up here off to our little area that is um, causing us some troubles but we can keep this managed. This little device here is supposed to uh, collect all these tiny little blobs together and compress them down. If I had done it right here, that would have worked wonderfully. But unfortunately, after this little turn, this gas pump is also injecting lots of other materials. And they don't collect together quite as well as I was hoping. I was hoping there was some way of just going, hey, if there is any gas here, can you turn on or off? Uh, it turns out that's not a, that's not a thing we can do. But as I say, we're producing oxygen and we already have ways of moving stuff to other planets here. In fact, I think this one's going to Blagolia anyway. So uh, let's just make sure we've got the correct line down to this one and go, hey, could we actually... Oh, with, what are we sending over here? Bleach stone. We don't have any bleach stone to send. But actually, could we send uh, some plastic across? That would be a very useful... Thank you very much. I don't know I don't know who's going to be doing it. I don't even know where we are storing our plastic at the moment. Is it down here in the big pile with everything else? Or is it over here where we used to produce all of our plastic and unfortunately don't anymore? That's probably something we should work on is how to produce more plastic outside of this horrifically hot area. I'm tempted to do it up here. I'm actually tempted to do it with the slicks. Maybe we could flip down this un, uh, unneeded liquid reservoir. If we cool up the liquid, you can see almost everything just passes it by. So perhaps this would be the best place to do that. To uh, we, we ripped it down ages ago, and I believe we've still got uh, 400 kilos of plastic left. But we could, we could probably do with some more. The polymer press, uh, thank you very much. We could just squeeze it in here. We can't, unfortunately, right now, because there is a... Uh, let's press this button. A little shipping drop-off point here. Maybe we could move that over this way and then break everything down that's to do with that. And then we could build the plastic the plastic creation building. Station? Station. We'll go with station. We could pop that here. Uh, let's, let's find that again. Refinement. Polymer press. We want to pop it down here. We're going to have some power, thankfully, to be able to pop that on. I'm going to push it over here so the water that does get released doesn't drift over this way. In fact, drops down here. And maybe we'll put a sweet Sweepy down? Maybe, maybe, can we fit a sweepy? Let's have a look. Sweepy dog. We could, we could fit a sweepy in there and it'll collect all the water that gets dropped. I just want the power. Thank you very much. Uh, do I have anything that's not... Let's go with lead. <laughs> not a uh, restricted resource. Yes, yes. Uh, okay, so the... Uh the polymer press is being put into place, but there is a problem. <laughs> there is a big problem. Uh, let's see if we can't deal with that, like, ideally before this becomes broken. Uh, something like that. And then I want to get a... Uh, let, let's let's go with these iron pipes. We're going to come out here. I mean, as it is, we're going to be using the lead ones. Uh, and then go down and into there. And then just... I know this is going to cause water... Uh, cause water to be dropped everywhere. I don't really care because this is a place where we deal with water. Let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, just break break all of this. Break all of this. Of course, one of the things it also outputs is carbon dioxide. I think we're just going to run it into there to be dumped for our Slickster Ranch. Okay, great. Oh, the water's getting a bit much already. Water is getting a bit much already. I ideally, that sweepy dock would have been built by now. We're going to drop it down here. This slick down here has also been making a lot of liquids. Let's, uh, let's mop those up as well if we can. All right, great. 
Well, we can see on the map we already have some interplanetary payloads going over to Blagolia from this little spot right here. We must be waiting for more radiation to be passed across. Yes, we've only got 20 out of 30 rad bolts. That means that these will be sent across 13 seconds. Let's watch this go live. If I click on Blagolia and click over to Plantoid. Now, we might have some problems. Ah, indeed. This targeting beacon is actually up and working. There we go. They get dropped off here. Uh, of course, this is Blagolia with the uh, with the, the fry fish and the cobalt volcano that we're trying to uh, overhaul. Uh, he comes down the ladder. Faraday, my boy, doing some good work. This then all gets unpacked by this machine uh, and dumped. Uh, just via this little rail from the green to the white uh, and we should then suddenly have a whole oh, look, look, there's already some plastic there 450 uh, uh, 430 kilograms let's call it that this is, should in fact give us another 200 or so i think or maybe this already considers itself oh there, there we go 500 just came in all right that's that's great we should now uh, is is that enough is that enough can we press this and yeah we can all right great this this just wants to go and get dropped right here you can't see it I don't know what this is about this uh, this, this bug in Oxygen Not Included. I, I I feel like it's one that should have been fixed by now. Okay, so we're just going to build that there. We don't have a... Co oh, Goddard, my friend. Goddard. So this, this guy has been given skills and then had all the skills taken away from him quite often i oh no you're not goddard you're maxwell where are you goddard uh we're, we're just gonna electrical engineer bam bam he should now be able to go around and do this little build down here but he won't because he's a chef so i need to tell him that it's very important uh, back over on Pyaxlin, how is our building of stuff going? Uh, Sweepy is uh, up and running. Uh, I don't know how we make the actual Sweepy. It turns out we've got to have a whole bunch of materials delivered to him. And we've got uh, people manually mopping okay uh so as we said there was a couple more things we need to do for this polymer press we need to get some power uh lead going upwards why have we got iron here that should all be sent over to reverse lin uh, our original asteroid over here hello we've got the lava at the top uh, this is where we turn our iron into steel and indeed we're just waiting for stuff to get delivered no workable order why what what are we missing here lime iron refined carbon i don't know what's missing but anyway, back to Begolia. Uh, is this being built? This is being built. All right, good good work, Goddard. We're going to have to try and figure out how we're going to uh, completely empty this room out, reroute all of the uh, the cooling system. I mean, the, the rerouting of the cooling system is not going to be hard. We're just going to shove it straight across there. Maybe get this looping back in itself. I, I don't know what we're going to do with this. We're probably going to end up emptying it. Uh, and then just have a, a few control systems set up to make sure this steam turbine can keep this at an optimal temperature in here. I mean, optimal being under a 120 degrees. Is Goddard actually going to carry on doing this throughout his entire sleep cycle? No, okay, that that that's fine. Go go get some sleep. In fact, we're going to put this on a nine for now. Maybe Goddard will get back to it. Maybe not. But I do know in the morning he's going to have to do things like go to the toilet. God, why are you? I sometimes feel like I should lock people out who are not the owners of the bedrooms. But at the same time, I'm fine with them swapping their toilets. That's that's not a problem. If they if they are close enough uh, flatmates to be able to share toileting facilities, then more power to them. Anyway, let's go back to Pyaxlin and see what's going on with Sweepy. That's that's definitely a thing I want to check. And, of course, the pipe outflow. Wait. No, no intake. Ah, wait. Of course. This is where the liquid petroleum comes in, jumps over. It's pretty hard to tell. I can, I can, I can understand that you'll be uh, struggling to see the flow here. But we flow upwards from this pipe, this pipe, and this pipe. They all produce petroleum. They come over this bridge swim uh swim yes flow through and over some bridges and go into the top of this tank here uh that then empties out via this bottom bottom port on the the bottom left here which goes across to our petroleum generators and i feel like we can maybe siphon this off in a smart way okay i think i know what smart way we're going to do it in as well we're going to come across here I'm gonna put down some more insulated pipe put that off uh, uh, put that up and across and over the bridge this way so that I can cut this line and move it via the wonders uh, I don't know why I keep pressing the wrong buttons all the time though I don't, I don't know what's wrong with me I don't see any other oxygen not included but players pressing the wrong buttons as often as I do uh, but this should now mean that the, the the fuel will flow up here immediately get picked up by the pipe by the bridge if there is room and if there's not the excess will flow over into the polymer press producing us plastic from all our excess non-burning fuel 
that that sounds great. All right, that 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 should be a good system here. We'll go construction if you could pop those up uh, to a nine because they're the things I want to get done first. And and maybe sweepy dock. Maybe let's put that up to a nine as well so that any of the waters and materials that it does pick up can in fact be then sorted out. I don't know where I deal with uh, regular water as soon as the autosave is done. We're going to go and look around in this area. So, th so this place it drops uh, crude oil and polluted water. That's what we deal with down here. That is fine. What are you dropping? You're dropping crude oil and petroleum when you want to be sent across. That's also fine. Water water gets dropped up here. Yeah, there, there it is. Okay, that's, that's fine. So hopefully duplicates will pick up whatever Sweepy ends up picking up. The water will go over here and the crude oil will go over here that that should work out well fingers crossed and big band plastic should be up and running it's pumping cross pumping around that's good let's deconstruct this one little bit here look at this bridge that just doesn't look to be necessary anymore it does appear like it's on a cooling loop though so i'm not sure if i want to rip it down uh it's this one here and i must have shortened it by one blob because there is a little bit of backflow in fact you know that that will work out well for us if we just rip down this liquid bridge and then replace it by the uh, pipe here that should take up one more blob yes okay using the power of panic oh, i don't like the fact that everything's kind of backed up a little bit here uh, but using the powers of panic, we've managed to get everything out and flowing again. Has We're, we're missing a one tiny dot there. That's fine. I think that will work out well for us. We're getting plastic produced. Do I just want to, like, cull some of these these slicksters we have been uh, ranching slicksters here replenishing from the incubators and any uh, eggs that get picked up end up being dumped up here with that that, that conveyor shoot, shoot that we were just moving uh and now we've got mm, something like 180 critters in here that might be too many oh look at sweepy go look at sweepy go let's have a look inside his uh, his little container he's got some water i don't know why he stopped on this oh, oh, and off he goes again doing a little bit of mopping oh he's, he's he's one of the best additions to the game if you ask me it's just such a shame that i don't normally find good situations to use sweepy but it turns out this is one yay so the petroleum boiler has ground itself to a halt we filled up enough that this petroleum sensor here is sending a no good signal to the pump this has pumped it up here which uh, also by the way closed the the water the, the heating system down closed the heating system down so we're building up a little bit of cold materials here that's kind of that's good actually that's very good uh that means that i can probably get in through here to repair these pipes that that would be even better if we could do that i'd really like to set up some sort of liquid lock system for going through there but that um it seems awkward <laughs> i mean i think i'd really like it to go across the top here but that that seems doubly awkward all right cool so we we managed to fix all of those i just need to get this all fixed up but you know what this is not what we're supposed to be doing today back over to blagolia look it's been built it's been built oh, oh and, it, and, it, and it needs attention it needs attention right now so what do we need to do with this place? I think all we actually need to do is go in and rip out this gas vent. Maybe move a little bit of liquid from this output. Let's, let's, let's do that now. I'm just going to grab a liquid pipe. You know what? Actually, I would like an insulated liquid pipe. Uh, I don't think it matters what we make it out of. Drop that down that way. This and maybe down into there. Because where this vent uh, currently resides, I think I am going to end up putting down the liquid vent that we're going to use to output the, 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 the water that we've condensed from steam i'm also going to go around and pop down the insulated tiles all around the outside but leave this one here to uh swap swap temperatures with the cobalt that we're pulling out currently it's at about 558 degrees that's quite toasty i kind of wish they'd um, come and done this gas vent first that that would have been great are, we, are, they, are they even able to get there that's a question this uh, this cobalt uh, this refined carbon block might be causing us some trouble. Well, I want to go in through the top anyway, so I'm going to deconstruct this tile uh, and then rebuild all of these walls around the outside. I was kind of hoping this pneumatic door would get taken out as well. We've got scolding plank. Oh, hello. Yeah, we're we're pushing some tiles back over here. That's that's fine. That's that's what we've been 
trying to do anyway. I didn't think it was uh, going to be something that happened. 704 degrees. I don't remember saying that particular temperature up. Wow, look at that. Look at that. But it does mean we're getting closer to the point where we're not going to have these two blobs of lava trapped down here. I don't know how we're going to uh, keep keep that job up and keep moving this back and forth to try and push all of the magma into this area. But that that is... That is a goal that we have long term. Trapped. Who's trapped? Why trapped? Uh, built herself in here. Okay. I mean, that's that. That's life. That happens. Welcome to the duplicates. Uh, we'll, we'll see if we can't get this. Uh, I should should have been paying closer attention. We've also got this igneous rock down here. I would really like to get that out of there. Okay, got that all cleaned up. The door, these walls, sorry, is now being put back into place. That's that dealt with. What's going on over here? Not, not a great deal. We've managed to open it up, but no one's come along to do any of the building. All right, good, good work, guys. Solid. Let's let's get some alarms going, shall we? This is what happens when you send your builder away to do a bunch of other stuff. Alarms and panic everywhere. And whilst we watch the duplicates insulate this room, I'd like to take this moment right here and thank the people that helped me avoid panic and alarm everywhere. That's right, my Patreon. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future. More importantly, that I can carve some time out in my very, very busy schedule. So from the very bottom of my heart, for making all of this so very possible, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, that final block took a while. Okay, so the next thing we need to do is actually isolate this whole cooling system off from here. We don't actually want this to be part of this whilst we are chilling down. We, we, we don't want to be going through a steam box with my base cooling system. Uh, it's just a very bad idea. So what we're going to do is jump over here with a little pipe, uh, with a bridge, sorry, to go onto this other cooling pipe here. We're going to end up with a lot of water trapped in the system, but I'm oh okay with that. I'd really like this bridge here to get deconstructed. I've got to make sure that also happens. As I remind you, no one here is actually a builder. No one is set up with building as priority. So pretty much the only way I can get anybody to do anything is to tell them that there is an emergency going on and they need to, uh, to break this right now. It's an emergency, guys. Go. This is not a drill. Oh, poor Goddard really took a beating from the heat down here when he was building the uh, the tiles around the outside. But so good, good job, Goddard. Maybe you should go to the infirmary. Anyway, we've now broken this system. Let's pull these off of here and here. This should mean that we now get... There's a couple of beads in there. There's a couple of beads in there that we could do with filling. In fact, there's just one. I, I'm happy with that. That's cool. That's fine. Because do you know what else I'm going to do now? I am going to reconnect this pipe up to here. And then hopefully all of the liquids in this system are now going to drain out into this area here. We already had mm, some water that had fallen down from on top. It turns out it wasn't as much water as I hoped it was going to be. And it's all compressed down into a single tile. This now means that we're going to have to try and drop water on top of here instead. Uh, let's just cancel that so no building at actually happens. Uh, that, that's fine. That's fine. What we need to do though is get water on this side and that side. We're trying to push all of the gases up and out of here. We might even have to take this tile down uh, to make that happen. Is this steam? Yeah, we, we've constantly got this little blob of water going from this thousand degree blob of cobalt here up to my now 70 degree pipes up here where the uh, the water then condenses, drops back down, goes around. It's a, it's a nice thing to keep an eye on but uh, it's it's not, not really that efficient. 120 degree ladder. Oh wow, that's uh, that's that's kind of warm. And off it goes. Great. <laughs> Okay, so set this up to take some water. Thankfully, we've got Faraday going around picking up all the water that is condensed from my gold volcano. Uh, gold comes out of here at two and a half thousand degrees. Splashes in the water. Most of the water turns to steam, condenses down on a whole bunch of stuff and falls back down. Uh, and this place is relatively mild thanks to the cooling system around here. Well, that's a lot more orange than I would like to see. Uh, but yeah, we're having temperatures all smoothed out around here obviously with uh, no power currently on the go with both our natural gas geysers are dormant uh, it's um, it's not quite as chill as we would like but I do believe this one is going to become back online in about eight cycles really worried about that cobalt volcano 
I failed to mention how I was going to fill this up without just absolutely flooding this area. If I use different liquids, you can see that I can, I've only got 50 kilograms of polluted water here. Normally it would take, oh, let's have a look at in a big pile of water. Normally it would take a thousand kilograms for it to go up to the next block. Uh, I, I don't want a thousand kilograms of steam in here. That that would be far too much. Looking to go get explosive at that point. Uh, so instead, I'm just going to try and drop water and salted water and uh, polluted water because they all boil up into steam. Unfortunately, there's nothing more than those three that I can use, much like we've got here. Oh, I suppose brine and salt water are two separate materials, but I don't. Th I think it's only brine that I've got here. No salt water anywhere. So as well as the water, we're going to drop as much brine in there as possible. We're just we're just going to mix them up and see what comes out here. Hopefully, uh, a nice tri-banded little little stack like this. That that would be ideal. I'm not sure if that's what's going to fall out of here though. We've got we've got some messy bits. Okay, so we've had a pretty bad go with the liquid here. The brine sunk underneath the water. The water is just floating on top. It would need over a, th a thousand, as I say, to go over. And then it's just going to sink into that corner there. Uh, I think I want to try and... Uh, can we mop this? If I, if I come in through these two walls here, uh, mop, the, mop the water, maybe mop the brine. I, I, I would kind of feel like I want to have brine on the bottom. So maybe mop everything and then pick it all back up and put it back down in the correct order that that might be the better way of doing it especially as this uh, volcano is now dormant for 60 cycles so uh, i'm just going to dig that out and we're going to try and do this with ideal conditions question mark okay much finagling later we've got a layer of brine on the bottom that was that was a lot more work than i wanted it to be uh and very inconsistent drips and drabs so i doubt i got any good video out of that i've been uh, mopping up little bits of brine here and there where i can and dropping them down below uh the problem was this was uh, being split can we uh, can we see this on the gas overlay we had some uh, polluted oxygen in there and it was splitting the brine apart so it wouldn't form a consistent layer but now that we have it i should be able to go ahead and just drop some water i don't want you guys being the i mean you guys are sweep only so this this should just be getting dealt with let's let's make sure it gets dealt with i'll take any and all water it doesn't have to be stuff that is set for sweeping and immediately there we go second layer down that's pretty good the only reason i did the water instead of the polluted water is because that's what layer we had there and uh i feel like this may have caused us some troubles in fact i, I wanted more than just that little bit of water to go down uh but now let's go with the polluted water and uh see how this works out like i say we might end up trying to rip this tile down if uh, if it spreads in the way that I, I don't want it to, but I'm almost certain it's going to come in here and spread across. Okay, last layer of polluted water going in. I don't I don't like the way it's going in already. F four liquids. Um, I mean it could be worse. Could be worse. Let's actually deconstruct that tile. Let's let's go ahead and do it. So is this compressing the water down? I mean that's okay if that's what's happening. I could I could live with that. Again, after much finagling and not an ideal setup, we seem to have managed to get this done. Let's put a tile in place there and there, and this will then be completely flooded out this area. I am a little bit concerned about the fact that we've got no power coming through this line anymore, but I think that should be fine. It's just the fact that the auto sweeper was draining down the battery, uh, given the fact that we've got absolutely no natural gas on the go at the moment we are surviving on a few solar panels but we don't have any glass production over here uh, so we can't expand this out i mean i suppose we could expand this out why why has nobody ever come to get this it says unreachable but i don't this is this bit right here look this, this is where it's actually unreachable let's put down a ladder and when people get to it they'll get to it oh yeah we, and we're not we have, don't have anyone sending glass this way glass is being made on reverse limb but unfortunately we've only just i mean i say only just a few episodes ago broken through to the surface we should probably rip down this in case telescope at some point and replace it with something a little bit more useful oh are we about to run to the end of the supplies i i could definitely see that let's uh let, let's try something like this i'm sure it's rutherford that's going to come up here uh put on an atmospheric dock suit come across build this dig these out drop some magma into the pool i i, I hope that's what's going to happen 
At the same time as over on Blagolia, we are filling the... Ooh, I'm not sure about this. Yeah, we got a gas there. That's that's not great. What gas is it? It's carbon dioxide. More water. We need more water. Go. So the hope is water gets dumped. And at that point, we uh, ask that to be filled. Let's watch the F for liquids. Okay, so far, so good. So I'm going to come along and finish this little bit off. I mean, extra water is a good idea. I'm, I'm fine with that, but yeah, here we go. Okay, the last tile has been put in place. I just, I don't want this to drop down. No, it's, be, it's being filled up. Um, but I, yeah, I don't I don't want this to drop down and suck some more, I don't know, carbon dioxide with it. That that would be bad. And great. Right, we've got, we've got what appears to be a fully sealed room. Uh, let's also ask for that to be filled. That's that's going to take a moment or two longer. Let's go back to reverse lid and see if... Uh, I mean, someone built the ladder. I don't know who did it, but someone built the ladder. Let's uh, also get those ripped down. I wonder who... Uh, maybe it was Plank. Maybe it was Plank. Rotherhood, of course, our only duplicate on the surface of reversing or underneath reversing. We are underneath the asteroid, aren't we? The, the, the surface is up above us. Uh, anyway, uh, wait. Why are these pumps on? What's happened? We've lost a we've lost a thing here. What what happened? No. Temperature thirty two. My my assumption was someone walked through here with some hot obsidian uh, and vaporized whatever was in this spot right here that we were using to hold back. Uh, we we had some liquids that held back the gas. Uh, that's no longer the case. So it's a bit annoying, but I can fix this. We don't have much gas out here, so it shouldn't take too long to pump it all out with our tiny, tiny pumps here. The problem is we're getting gases from both directions. How do I drop gases? Uh, I think we're going to have to stop this for now. I say stop. Uh, we'll we'll uh, set the priorities low uh, and rip down this ladder and this ladder here. Put a pump down, uh, some sort of, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for here? The bottle emptier and drop a bunch of liquids down. Gas, petroleum. I'm not. I'm not sure yet. I'm just over here. Look, we got we got all this petroleum. We're gonna we're gonna use this. Just as you think things are going well, there's always problems somewhere. Always. Let's see if Rutherford's the one to make the delivery here. Looks like he is. Okay, that's cool. We just, as I say, swept up a whole bunch of petroleum here. Uh, it's spread over that many tiles, so it should do the job on this side. I'm not sure... Wait, let's press F4 and have a look. I would like to look, in fact, at liquids here. Okay, so we've got a little bit of a lock there. That That's pretty good. I'll take that. Let's now deconstruct this. I think this is going to work out well for us. If I put just a ladder down here, that should then re-establish uh, all ways of traveling. Uh, and yes, I think now the gases should be just be getting picked up by this guy. How, we, we've got a lot of oxygen down here but you can see that the the liquid and this tile are preventing any more flow okay that's fine okay that 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 was uh, an interesting little diversion was not the one I was looking for and it's gonna take such a long time for this all to get emptied out we, we've obviously got the emptying out to the vacuum up here and we've got some pumps trying to vacuum everything out down here as well mm, that that could have gone better but also could have gone much much worse now this is very interesting, very interesting indeed. The liquids have collapsed down, but we've got vacuum back there. There there are no gases in here, so we have done very, very well here. But I have to say, don't you just hate it when you go ahead and build some massive infrastructure and then realise you've got to wait nearly 70 cycles before you can see it running? I hate that very much. And it seems to be becoming a little bit of a habit of mine to get into these situations. I'm going to have to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you guys next time where hopefully we're going to be having some of this natural gas start to be spewing back out of here. I'm not sure how we're going to get it up and running. But look, that's how we're going to get it up and running. Backup hamster power is always the winner. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.